ndio mambo ya ndio mambo yangu moja, mbili, tatu, ine, ishugulikiwe sijui kama tunaelewana tunaelewana hiyo ndiyo kiini na maana ya sisi kuketi hapa leo tumefanya mikutano kama hii nataka niombe wale wa mama wanaweza keti chini kuna viti hapo kina mama mnaweza kuketi hiyo viti haina wenyewe ni nyinyi ndio tulikuwa tunangojea si ndio so hii mkutano kama hii tumefanya tayari tumefanya mikutano kama haya kuanzia mwaka uliopita katika counties zetu sasa inakaribia 30 tutafanya leo ya Garissa tutafanya gesho ya Wajia tutafanya kesho kutwa ya kule e, Mandera tumeshafanya ya, ya Kilifi tumefanya ya Mombasa tumefanya ya Busia sehemu nyingi tumefanya ya Kiambu na hiyo kazi yote tunafanya ni kwa sababu tunataka tukubaliane na wananchi wa Kenya katika kaunti yao priority ile mambo wangetaka ishughulikiwe na serikali yao mambo yao ya ufugaji Kenya kwa mfano tunachinja ngombe milioni tatu kila mwaka Kenya nyingi ya hizo ngombe ni ya wafugaji si ni kweli lakini wafugaji tuliketi kule naro kwa katuambia ngozi tunapatia umbo ikule saa zingine tuna tuna tunazika kwa sababu hatuna mahali ya kuzia ngozi ili hali katika Kenya tunaagiza importation ya viatu kama hii mimi nimefaa milioni 22 kila mwaka 22 pairs of shoes every year tunaelewana na hii ngozi hakuna tofauti na ile ya ngombe yetu na hii kiatu tunanunua shilingi elfu kumi, shilingi elfu ishirini, shilingi elfu arobaini tumesema safari hii tunataka tuongee na wafugaji tuwaambie ni vipi tunataka wachunge ngombe zao ndio tuchukue hiyo ngozi tuweze kutumia badala ya kuagiza viatu kutoka nje tushone viatu hapa Kenya vijana wetu wapate ajira na wafugaji na wafugaji walipwe kwa ile ngozi wanatupatia sasa hii si ngozi inauswa shilingi hamsini mia moja singine inatupwa ama huku kwenu mnafanyia nini inatupwa So tunataka vile vile tukubaliane wale wanaofanya biashara sehemu hii wafanye biashara wale wote wengi wa wafanye biashara pengine wakikopa pesa wakiwa na bahati wanakopa kwa bank bank 18% wasipopata huko wanakopa kwa mtu hapa ule mtu wako hapo anakupatia shilingi elfu kumi, anakuambia baada ya siku mbili lete elfu kumi na mbili. Si ndio? Ama huku shailo ka wako. Ni vipi tunaweza kutengeneza hazina ya kusaidia kila mwananchi hata kama biashara yake ni kidogo apate mahali ya kupata mkopo, ainue biashara yake. Ndiyo hii Kenya, wa Kenya wale wanafanya biashara ndogo ndogo ni wa Kenya milioni 15 15 million wanafanya hii biashara tunasema ni kidogo kidogo hii lakini ni vipi tunaweza kuwainua hawa wafanyabiashara ambao wanapata shilingi mia mbili, shilingi mia tatu kwa siku tukiwashughulikia kwa mambo yao ya mikopo na mahali wanafanyia biashara wanaweza kuongeza mapato yao kutoka shilingi mia mbili, mpaka shilingi elfu moja kwa siku that way tuna anza safari ya kufukuza umaskini machinani. Tunataka tuongee na watu wa Garissa County watuambie mambo ya kilimo. Hapa Garissa ya irrigation. Tunajua kuna irrigation program ambayo iko hapa lakini haija, haijaendeshwa vile tungependa ama vile nyinyi mungependa iendeshwe. Tunataka tukubaliane 
barabara gani tukiwatengenezea itawasaidia kwa mambo ya usafiri, kwa mambo ya usalama na kwa mambo ya biashara. Ili tusitengeneze tu barabara bila ya kuelewa ni barabara barabara gani inaweza kuwasaidia. Ni mahali gani tunaweza kufanya mambo ambayo yanaweza kuinua uchumi wa Garissa County. Those are the issues we want to discuss. Mutuambie, mutueleze kwa lugha ambayo mnaelewa, kwa lugha rahisi, kwa sababu serikali ni ya wananchi wa Kenya. Na nyinyi ndio wananchi wa Kenya. Na nyinyi ndio mtaamua ni kina nani watakuwa viongozi wa Kenya. Na vile vile inafaa mkiamua ni kina fulani pia wajue priorities ya watu wa Garissa, watu wa sehemu fulani ni gani. Na tumesema kama Kenya kwanza chama yetu ya UDA tukiungana na wale wengine. Tumesema mwaka huu tutaandikiana mkataba we will sign a charter with the people of Garissa County. Watu wa Garissa County waseme tunawapigia kura. Lakini tunataka barabara kutoka hapa mpaka pale. Weka sahihi. Haya, tunataka maji itoke hapa mpaka pale. Weka sahihi. Tunataka pesa ya kuinua biashara. Mtutafutie bilioni tano. Weka sahihi. Tunataka mambo ya ufugaji, mambo ya abatwa ama mambo ya processing. Processing ya ya ya, ya e, nyama ya mifugo yetu. Tunataka processor hapa na hapa na hapa. Weka sahihi. Tunataka tanari ya ngozi. Ili ngozi yetu injumbwa isikule ama tuzitupe tanari itakuwa hapa na hapa na hapa na pia value addition mechanism itakuwa hivi na hivi na hivi weka sahihi sio kama tunaelewana kwa sababu hii siasa imeingiliwa na matapeli wengi watu wa kora eh, mara mnasikia mtu anasema niko na risasi moja baadaye anarudi tena hajasema risa... <laughs> Aja sema hii risasi iliongezeka siku gani na ilikuwa imebaki moja siku ile o oh, mara anakuja hapa kelele kelele tv mtialala ria anaenda unapiga kura mwisho ujui ulipiga kura kwa sababu gani ama namna gani jameni tunaelewana si ndio Kenya tumezoea kila siku eh? so sisi tumesema kwa sababu Ukiona historia ya hawa watu wengi ni historia ya utapeli. Anadanganya huyu leo, anadanganya huyo kesho, anadanganya ule kesho, niunge mkono leo nitakuunga kesho. Nifanye hii leo kesho. Mwisho ni msururu ya watu waliotapeliwa. Na mimi nataka niwaulize nyinyi watu wa Garissa, kama mtu anaweza kutapeli kiongozi mwenzake wewe mwananchi uko na bahati kweli na mtu kama huyo. Si lazima tuambieni kweli. Ndio tumesema lazima tuondoe kabisa utapeli kwa hii siasa ya Kenya. Na njia ya kuondoa utapeli ni kuhakikisha kwamba kila kiongozi awaeleze ni mambo gani mukubaliane ili wakati mnaenda kupiga kura unajua napigia kura hasla kwa sababu mimi watoto wangu watakuwa na bima ya afya ya NHIF na isipokuwa uko na maswali ya kuuliza ama ama namna gani tunaelewana that's what we want to do ndio mnaona kwa hii Garissa eh, county kuna watu wachache sisi wote tumekuwa na nafasi ya uongozi lakini kuna watu wachache wanaweza kusema wamefanya nini kwa hii Garissa county ni kwa sababu ya hiyo siasa ya hewa na, na na ukora ambaye lazima tuondoe ndio Kenya iweze kwenda mbele. Tunaelewana? So mimi nawashukuru sana. Tutachukua muda wetu tutaketi hapa na tunataka tuwasikize. Leo nyinyi ndio kusema. Si ndio?
eh mtuambie tunataka hii tunataka hii watoto wetu mpango ya watoto wetu kupata ajira ni gani tusiwe tu tunaongea oh, oh vijana iko shida ya ajira iko shida ya ajira na usemi hii ajira itatatuliwa kwa njia gani there must be a plan ama namna gani nilisikia ule rafiki yangu juzi alikuwa huko bungoma ati akasema eh, shida ya shida ya Kenya ni ile ya 1963 sijui ujinga umaskini sijui nini mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa Garissa bado kuna watu wa jinga hapa Garissa kuna mtu yote mjinga hapa Garissa si, si watoto tumewasomesha dunia mzima wote wako na certificate wengine diploma wengine degree shida shida ya Kenya saa hizi si ujinga ni ajira na biashara ya hawa vijana waweze kukuza taifa lao na unajua kama mtu hata aelewi shida ya Kenya ni nini atapata njia ya kuitatua kweli si hiyo yote ni guesswork so lazima tukubaliane ni vipi tunataka twende mbele tukiwa pamoja sijui kama mmenielewa watu wa Garissa mmenielewa sasa nyinyi tumekuja hapa kuwasikiza tuko na technical team yetu tumejenga team kubwa inaongozwa na yule anaitwa professor David Ndi na watu wengine karibu 25 wasomi wa mambo ya uchumi ambayo hii nakala yote ya mambo tutasema hapa leo na zingine tutaenda tuitengeneze iwe chata na iwe priority ya watu wa hapa Garissa tutarudi hapa tena sasa tukuje tu sign hiyo chata na viongozi wenu na watu wa Garissa ndio wakati unaenda ndio wakati unaenda kupiga kura unajua unapiga kura kwa sababu gani usiende tu kupiga kura kiholela sijui kama tunaelewana kama mungekuwa wa Kristo ningewa ningewa ningewaambia kitu kimoja lakini wacha niwaambie lakini wacha niwaambie kwa sababu ni mfano unajua Yesu alikuwa na wale disciples wake kumi na wawili so our disciples wengine walikuwa wavuvi wengine walikuwa nini wengine walikuwa nini wakawacha hiyo kazi yao wakakuja kuandamana na Yesu ndio walikuwa watu yake ya kusungusha maneno nini nini so siku moja kwa matayo 17 mstari wa 29 hawa eh, disciples wa Yesu wakamuuliza bwana mkubwa sasa sisi tuliwacha bibi zetu tukawacha ile uvuvi tulikuwa tunafanya na sisi tumekuja kukufuata sasa kwa hii safari yako tutapata nini kwa hii safari yako hii eh so ule Yesu akawaambia kwanza mtapata maradufu hapa duniani na vile vile mtapata uzima wa milele kwa sababu kila kitu ni maslahi siasa ni maslahi usifuate tu mtu hewa bure lazima umuulize wewe hii tunakufuata yote <laughs> mwisho sisi tutapata nini kwa hii kufuata wewe ama ama namna gani kwani unafuata tu mtu siasa hapana urembo ati unafuata mtu kwa sababu ni akona sura akona <laughs> sura mzuri sijui si, si kama tunaelewana eh hey, so politics is about interest si ndio it's about interest what is your interest unataka mambo yako yapi yawe katika ile mpango ya 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 ya, ya maendeleo ndio usipige tu kura kwa sababu umesikia wengine wanapiga kura ama upigie mtu mwenye huu has no, ambaye hana interest yako yale mengine tutaongea baada ya baada ya hii eh, mazungumzo lakini niliona ni wafungue ya muelewe tumekuja hapa kufanya nini ndio pia kila mtu akipata nafasi ajieleze vizuri na hii ni mkutano yenu tutawasikiza kwa makini tuko na watu wa kunakili everything you are going to say we have people who are going to record and we are going to make sure that we reduce it 
into a charter that we are going to sign with the people of the great county of Garissa. So, uh, asante ni sana. Na, sijui kama mmesikia vizuri nimesema siasa ni maslahi. Yes, kama naitwa maslaha. Siasa ni interest. Kama mtu hana interest yako na unampigia siasa na unampigia kura wewe unajidhulumu. Sindio? Yes. You are working against yourself. Na hiyo kwa Kiswahili rahisi inaitwa ujinga. <laughs> eh? <laughs> okay, okay, pigia mtu kura mwenye hana interest yako in simple terms inaitwa ujinga. Ni mnanielewa? Nataka nikuulize wewe mtu ya Garissa. Kama mtu amesema anataka pesa ya serikali inayokuja Garissa county ipunguzwe. Na wewe unaenda kupigia yeye kura ndio apunguze pesa yenye inakuja Garissa county. Kichwa yako inafanya kazi mzuri? I mean, it is as simple as that. It's straightforward. So, uh, and we are all going to be attentive. Asante ni sa. Asante sana, Your Excellency. Na nitaomba kabla tuweze kuendelea ninapomwalika Abdi Dubat ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa hapa Garissa kwa Economic Forum naomba tafadhali kwa heshima yetu tuweze kuweka simu zetu kwa silent mode ama vibration. Nitaomba tu kwa heshima tuweze kuweka simu zetu kwa silent mode. Just one minute. Eh? One minute. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Mheshimiwa Adan Duale who is our host MP. Um, our incoming governor, the Akwao, all protocols observed. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdi Dubat. I am the chairman of the Economic Committee for, Northern, for the Northern Frontier Counties, which Your Excellency, as you know, comprises Marsabit, Isiolo, Mandera, Garissa, and Wajir. We have a team from Garissa today. I'm accompanied by Abdi Duale, who is a member of that team. Two of my other colleagues are not here. So we welcome you to Garissa. This again is my home county. So tunashukuru sana, asante sana kwa kuja. Your Excellency, I know you are doing this exercise in 47 counties. And we are happy that we have a presidential candidate and a team that is going around the whole country, talking to each county, trying to listen to their problems. This is unheard of. This is the first time it's happening. And we thank you because it's by listening to your people that you know how to serve them better. In the history of the machinations of the nation state of Kenya, no other political formation, Your Excellency, has preemptively gone ahead to include the regional and county transformational strategies that is being done by the Kenya Kwanzaa government and alliance. So for that, we thank you. We, what we can say is that for 60 years, the developmental needs of this county and this region have been known. The robust potential of this county's economic contribution to the country have also been known. What has been lacking and what we are getting now is the political will of an incoming government to listen to us and to listen to our people. And for that we say, Karibu Sana, we are going to have a conversation with you and we are going to record all that and we promise that we are going to capture everything to say. Asante Sana Karibu. Asante Sana. Mutu Kwanza atakeenda kuongea nitaomba kumalika mfugaji wangombe, Muhammad Abdullah. Chief Guest, His Excellency Deputy Governor, Dr. William Ruto. <laughs> Deputy President, Dr. William Ruto, sorry. <laughs> Members of Parliament present, led by Honorable Adam Duale, Governor's parent, Major Deco, all the members of the County Assembly present. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. 
First and foremost, I take this, I thank God for this unique opportunity. I am Mohammed Abdullahi, an elder and a livestock farmer from Ijara constituency, Garissa County. <laughs> Today marks the beginning of responsive journey geared towards transforming Kenya economy through bottom-up economic model. We feel great as people of Garissa to be part of this national discourse, and indeed it is paradigm shift. His Excellency, sir, my presentation targets livestock sector. As you are aware, Northern Kenya is the epicenter of livestock production, and the sector contributes 12% to the national GDP. We as pastoralists, we are proud of livestock rear we are proud of our livestock rearing enterprises and we cherish with a lot of zeal. That said, I wish to highlight the challenges and the interventions we consider as high priority in order to inform policies and decision making. Number one, the challenge number one is livestock disease outbreak. Two, we have uh, droughts and related climate change effects, lack of livestock marketing system, land degradation de and declining of pasture resources, poor genetic potential of our indigenous cattle breed. Those are the challenges, the priority interventions that we, we consider as people of Garissa County is number one, establishment of livestock marketing board at the national level. We feel that uh, the, there is no board to take care of issues of livestock. We have the tea board, we have the coffee board, we have the pyridum board, ETC, but livestock at the national level, we need to establish that marketing board. Secondly, we feel that there is a need to create disease zone to enhance the quality of our products livestock product and enhance also disease surveillance. Thirdly, we are asking for adequate appropriation of funds at the national budget for livestock offtake and restocking in order to caution our farmers during the drought. Fourth, we, 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 we are asking for strengthening of this uh, drought resilience program and projects to complement partners and county interventions. Fifth, we are asking for establishment of a modern abattoir. Six, construction of mega dams for rainwater harvesting and storage to enable diversification of our livelihood. And the last one is establishing of feedlots to improve livestock body condition for purpose of meat export. Your Excellency, sir, I wish to reinforce and uh, two aspects of my priority intervention. It's about the livestock marketing board. It's something that we are feeling is a gap missing. And also the issue of having harnessing uh, rainwater. Because we get a good rain, and 70% uh, of the rainwater end up in Tana River. If we harness the rainwater and uh, construct mega dams, we can be able to integrate our livelihood and diversify so that we can have a small scale farming. At the same time, we can have adequate water for our livestock to caution them during drought. And at the same time, it will improve uh, nutrition and uh, livelihood. With those few remarks, I wish you the best in your endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdullahi. I want to just uh, seek a clarification on what you have said. Um, on the matter of the disease-free zone, is, it is um, a, a subject that can be tackled between the county government and the national government so that we can set aside uh, land that can be used for this purpose. What um, what are your ideas on this uh, disease-free zone? What would you want it established county by county, uh, sub-county by sub-county, or what? What do you think it? it what form would it would it take? 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm at to get this way in the way. It's okay. Yeah. Well, uh, it, it can be even a regional, regional, regional initiative. So that, you know, we have issues of importation. We have the potential in terms of the livestock numbers, but you see, our meat is not meeting the international standard. Yes. So, if we get the disease through uh, the disease free zone established, we'll be able to take care of the quality and we'll be able to access international markets. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. One more question um, on, the, on the subject of the breed, of the breed of the big wambayo mnatumia kwa mifugo. Tuko na mpango wa serikali ambayo tayari tumetengeneza a bull station ambayo inaweza kutusaidia na mbegu. So wakati umezungumzia mambo ya mbegu ulikuwa unasema pengine mnahitaji mbegu ikue improved iwe iwe yenye iko na nyama zaidi ama iwe combined iwe na nyama na maziwa ama hiyo sehemu umenasema ya mbegu ulikuwa una mawazo gani uh, 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 your excellency when i was talking about the livestock breed i was having uh, in mind issues of, related to improvement of the breed in terms of production milk and meat so that was the idea yes that was the idea uh, finally on the subject of uh, offtake livestock offtake what uh, challenges do you, uh, muko na matatizo gani pengine niseme kwa Kiswahili ndio watu wengi wasikie waelewe na kama hata wewe unaweza kujaribu Kiswahili tunge ingekuwa vizuri tuko na wamama wengi hapa pia wangetaka kusikia mambo hii inaendesha namna gani kwa mambo haya ya livestock offtake um, unasema saa zingine serikali inachelewa na pesa ya kununua mifugo wakati ya kiangazi lakini vile vile wafugaji pia na wao sijui kama wako tayari kuuza e, mifugo yao kabla kiangazi ya haijafika unajua mimi ni mfugaji pia na mimi najua kuuza ngombe si kazi rahisi unapigana kabisa mm. Eh, kuamua vile eh, kama kama uta, utauza ama unaamini una, una tu ngoje kidogo pengine mambo ikawa mzuri alafu mwisho inaharibika so tutafanya nini kuhakikisha kwamba serikali ina, ina eh, tukichukua nafasi yetu kusema ya kwamba tuko na pesa ya kununua ngombe tutafanya nini ili wafugaji pia wawe tayari kuuza ngombe zao kwa wakati unaofaa uh, your excellency <coughs> The issue of uh, uh, livestock offtake and the subsequent restocking of replenishing the diminished livestock, as you said, as a pastoralist, uh, it, is, it is close to our heart. But you see, whenever there is such a program in the government, there is delay of disbursement. Last time, there was money voted by the National Assembly. But up to now, that money hasn't reached this county. So what we are asking is, what we are asking is, is timely disbursement of, of the monies so that whenever there is a drought, there is readily available money with no constraints that the farmers can access and, and sell their livestock. Asante sana. So uh, let me tell you what we intend to do. Number one, in our 100-day delivery, we will make sure that we have set up the livestock board, the one you have. Oh yeah. Yeah, ni <laughs> nimesema ya kwamba katika ile mpango yetu kwa siku mia moja ya kwanza tutahakikisha kwamba livestock board iko na sio board tu ya kujulikana iko lakini board itakuweko na tutaweka pesa ya kutosha permanent money ya kuhakikisha kwamba mambo kama disease free zone na mambo kama livestock offtake inashughulikiwa na hiyo board na itakuwa inasimamiwa na wafugaji kama kama wewe na wengine jambo la pili e, tumekubaliana ya kwamba lazima kuwe na feedlot kwa sababu wafugaji wengi wanauza ngombe yao ikiwa kilo 80 pengine mia moja lakini ile ile ngombe ikiwekwa kwa feedlot kwa miezi tatu ine 
inaweza kuwa kama kilo mia tatu, kilo mia tano. Na ile pesa unaweza kufanya mara tatu ile pesa ungepata kama ungeuza kabla ya kuiweka kwa feedlot. So tutafanya ushirikiano na counties na tutaweka kazi moja ya hiyo livestock board ni kupanga mambo ya feedlot katika sehemu mbalimbali mbali. na pia kuwapanga wafugaji katika eh, cooperatives ambazo wanaweza kusaidiana kuhakikisha kwamba mifuko yao inafika kwa feedlot na badala ya kuuza ngombe yako ikiwa kilo 80 tunataka uuze ikiwa kilo 300 ama kilo 400 ama kilo 500 wakati imepitia pale kwa feedlot tunaelewana mm. na jambo la mwisho Um, tuko na bull station tayari ambayo tumeweka karibu shilingi bilioni moja ya kutengeneza mbegu ambayo tunaweza kusaidia na wakulima na vile vile tunataka kuteremusha bei ya AI services saa hizi unaulizwa shilingi elfu mbili shilingi elfu tano e, katika hiyo mpango wa serikali ambayo tuko nayo tunataka kupunguza hiyo bei mpaka ikuwe mbegu ya ya ngombe ya nyama ama maziwa isizidi shilingi tano ndio watu wengi waweze kufikia na mwisho tulikuwa na mpango wa World Bank ambayo tulikuwa tutengeneze eh, abotwa hapa Garissa eh, Mandera Isiolo Marsabit lakini hiyo mpango wakati tuliingiliwa na mambo ya handshake hiyo mpango ikasambaratika so mimi nataka ni kuhakikishie tuko na hiyo pesa ya World Bank ambayo tayari was voted na nataka ni kuhakikishia kwamba hiyo itakuwa kazi yetu ya kwanza kuhakikisha kwamba tunarudisha hiyo mpango ya kujenga abotwa na pia sasa tutaelekeza mpaka processing ya ngozi tukiongeza na processing ya ngombe and finally katika mpango yetu tuko na dams hamsini ambazo ni lazima tujenge katika Kenya mmoja ama kati ya sectors ambazo zina benefit kutoka hizo dams ni areas ya wafugaji na tungependa baada ya hii mkutano mtusaidie kama wafugaji ni sehemu gani na sehemu gani na sehemu gani ambayo mungetaka tujenge hizi dams ambazo zinaweza kusaidia kwa mambo ya ufugaji ili wakati tunamalizia ile chata mwezi ujao tuwe na locations ambazo mungetaka hizo dams ama pans ama eh, eh, sand dams ziwekwe tunaelewana bwana Abdullahi asante sana shukrani Thank you your excellency. Sisi tuko na imani. Tunajua wewe ni performer. Asante sana. Thank you. Uh, wapili atakuwa ni Agriculture Abdrahi Haji Fara. Mwenye...